and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about my recent trip workshop out of the United States into Mexico, a whole week in Mexico in the great village, fishing village, and a lot of people joined me. And that was just wonderful. We get to stay in this wonderful casa on the top floor where we paint all day long. There's the village right there. There's the ocean over here. Here's the river coming down. Lots of subjects. But the name of this particular workshop is called Abstract Painting and Collage. But we get to do all kinds of different abstracts. As you can see, these are some of the pieces that we did while we were there. Everyone was doing their own thing, but I had a theme every day, which was kind of fun. This is all about relationships. Of course, you know what day's coming up pretty soon here, so we had to do one of those. These are my hard air balloons, I call them. Uh, lots of abstracts about the villages, the great colorful houses across the way. We spent a day at a botanical garden, and so I'm going to show you the materials that I use because I travel light, very light. These are the colored pencils I talk so much about. These are those Derwent ink tense colored pencils, and when they dry, you wet them so they act like a watercolor. And when they dry, they're permanent. How cool is that? So we did some pure abstracts some days, just pure abstract, all based on a theme. And what we learned at the Botanical Garden, we went back to the studio, the Casa, on the top floor, and made some of those drawings and paintings larger. So let me show you some of the materials that I travel lightly with. Here we go. So these are the ink tents pencils I love so much from Derwent. They come as a pencil and also as a block. Okay, so I wanna show you how I do all of this stuff here. So I do go a few days early <laughs> before the students show up and I just sit on the beach for a couple of days and sketch everything from the fishing boats to the wonderful pottery that they have right there. And I use my simple little colored pencils. Here they go. Uh, I, I draw with, a pen first. Well, this is one of my sketch books here. Let's see what else we have here. I just wanna show you quickly what's so nice. Even a, just a black and white drawing. Let's put some uh, other colors in here. We'll do a blue. Yeah, let's do that. There's the shadow. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. And what's really nice about all of this is you don't have to take a whole lot of stuff. Let me get some red in here, just so you can see how all this works. And in your sketchbook, such a simple little thing. I'm gonna put some green over here. It's like going right back to kindergarten. Now you can use your finger or, <laughs> or a brush. I'm just adding water to this. It's beautiful. Beautiful coloring. So that's one way of using this. So, love sketching. This is a Kilimanjaro watercolor paper. I get it from Cheap Joe's, made from the catalog. So the day we were doing botanicals, and you know, I like to start off really loose with botanicals. So, I'll just do quickly drawing. Notice I hold the pencil back here. Don't hold it up here. You squeeze it <laughs> to death. And by holding it back here, I have more flow. It's like a conductor's baton. See, I can go all over the place. And we, we sketch fast, very fast. You just keep your pencils moving. Don't stop, don't slow down. No details, oh my gosh, no details. That'll slow you down so fast. Get some blue in here. The colors down there in Mexico. This is in Puerto Vallarta. Actually about 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta, away from all the tourists. And we have our own little village. It's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty fast. Well, obviously I'm not gonna be drawing the entire thing here. I just wanna show you how much fun it can be. And all I'm using are my colored pencils. You don't need 
all the colors in the world and tubes and all that stuff that's in your studio. You do not bring your studio. So I just wanted to show you how simple this can be. So I would leave it like that. Then I have water. Here we go. This was a botanical garden. It's one of the top 10 in the world. It's huge, it goes for many acres. And we get to stay there and paint anything we want to, which is great fun. And then they feed us this most magnificent lunch. You know, it's good to be an artist down there. <laughs> they really love and respect artists down that area. Now, even though it's wet, I can come back into it again. This was an abstract class, so we're not gonna do normal stuff. <laughs> and we're gonna have lots of fun. So it's this kind of play, this kind of play using the Derwent ink pencils, or you can also get blocks. Let me show you the blocks. They look like they're pastels, but they're not. And I use them the same way. I use them the same way. Let me just show you. So I take one of each. I just wanna show you again how beautiful That one, and let's put some yellow in here. There we go. So this is the chalk. They call it blocks, they call them blocks. And watch what happens. Again, you can either use your finger, paper towels. Look at the intensity of this. And then when you mix them, of course, it's going to be that other beautiful orange color. Anyway, I just want you to see that you, you can really do some wonderful, wonderful sketches with color in them when you're on vacation. You don't have to take everything in your studio with yourself. Travel lightly. I know you're excited and you want to use everything. Don't. I always suggest to people to practice somewhere near your studio. See what you really need when you go. Anyway, it was a great trip at the Casa down there uh, because it's a real fishing village with the music and the ocean and we went whale looking and it was just fantastic. So it's good to be back in my studio, but it's also good to travel to other places, meet other people, other cultures, certainly uh, places of interest and architecture and the food. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.